recovery. Next, we have a heat recovery VRF. This is an advanced type water set. And in that, we have three options possible. We can use only cooling mode. We can use only heating mode, like heat recovery, plus cooling and mid heating simultaneously as per the low as per the application demand and this this can be best suitable for the hotels because in hotel room rooms as per the as per the requirement as per the space requirement one can call for cooling one can call for heating as per the requirement so this this option is good for the hotels especially not for offices or residential okay depend as per the client requirement also so to understand this mode by mode we'll discuss First, let me explain cooling. This is going to be easy. Then heating, then cooling plus heating. If you talk about only cooling, you see I'm using only cooling mode. You see what we discussed in the heat recovery, the same plus some more additional option. And the first point here in this is a three pipe system only cooling or heat recovery sorry my mistake only cooling or heat pump is a two pipe system but this heat recovery is a three pipe system important for interview point of view and why we are calling three pipe you can see one two three three pipe is to this indoor but not completely to the indoor to the branch controller and you see this rough net also known as separation tube commonly rough net technique you can call separation tube also so first point is the three pipe system. Now first we'll discuss how this work in a cooling only uh, cool, uh, only cooling mode. You see the cycle start from the compressor, the refrigerant in this direction. So refrigerant can flow in the left direction as well as in the right direction. So in cooling only cooling mode, remember this valves is going to be in closed position. Close close and close the red color represent the the heat so refrigerant will enter in the left line but this valves are closed now so it, it will not flow and the refrigerant will now flow on the right right direction and this valve is open and this is close in cooling and since this valve is open the refrigerant can flow and it will enter in what this heat exchanger is called condenser no? because we are talking about cooling because this is outdoor the same thing and refrigerant enter through this bypass line it will not enter in the electronic expansion valve this is this is going to be used in heating only same like previous so with this nrv here now the refrigerant in liquid form is available to this separation tube or rough net now this refrigerant in the liquid form it will enter in this line i'm considering one indoor which demand cooling at this level, I'm talking about cooling, so you can consider this also cooling, this also cooling. You see, it will enter. And this valve is open position. Under this branch controller, you'll find a separate branch controller to which you'll find the number of valves for different indoor units. So this valve is open position, and this valve also in open position. So you see, it will enter, and it will enter in electron expansion valve, the same thing. Okay, and loses the heat and the pressure and temperature and it will enter in the evaporate coil you know what will happen in this room and since this valve is closed so it will enter through this valve which is open and you can see and this is from other indoors and then supply back to accumulator here in other case also you'll find the accumulator accumulator you see in the accumulator any liquid it's going to be at the bottom only the vapor is going to be sucked by the compressor. You will find this accumulator even for other units also, which is not shown. Or for learning point of view, this line, you see, it's to the compressor. This is a cooling mode, very simple. No confusion now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. And next, we'll, we'll verify this heating mode. Heating mode also you can understand easily. In heating mode, you see, the direction of refrigerant, it will go in this direction as well as in this direction. But this valve is going to be in close and this is going to be in open position. Okay. So this valve is closed means the refrigerant will not pass through this through this valve. It will stop here. So refrigerant will flow in the left direction. So after compression, you see, 
through this separation tube nothing but rough net it will enter in this say unit one and all are i'm using heating now so you see this wire is going to be open this is going to be this is going to be close and this open <clears throat> okay so it will pass through this valve now this will become what condenser no? next so the refrigerant it will not pass through this electron expansion valve this also close in heating mode it will pass through this bypass line with the nrv then out and this also from the other years and this now it not will really. enter in uh, electron really. expansion valve it will pass through this and this will become yep. a and after this you see since this valve is open and this is close the refrigerant will pass through this and enter in the accumulator then compressor this is for heating and you see this what we are learning is a concept in actual practice this can be achieved with the with the complete control system okay mm -hmm. with the precise control this is not that much easy next now we'll discuss how this system can use for cooling and heating simultaneously this is interesting and why we are calling this as a heat recovery you see for example room one call for cooling room two call for heating so the cooling means the heat extract extraction extracted from this room can be utilized to provide the heat to this room two for example so what we are doing we, we are recovering the we are utilizing the waste energy in the other space so that that's the reason we used to call this system as a what heat recovery heat recovery vrf system we have a separate hru i'm not talking about that that we'll discuss later hru heat recovery unit that is a different but this is a heat recovery vrf why the name is given now we'll try to understand the concept cooling plus heating what simultaneously for example space one cooling space two call for heating space three call for cooling for example now in that case this file is going to be in open position this is in close apart from this see the reference start from here it will flow in this direction as well as in this direction so you see after compression if the refrigerant flow in the right direction you can expect the cooling the result mm -hmm. is cooling on the left direction you can expect the result in heating okay mm -hmm. so what will happen partly refrigerant will flow in the left direction partly in the right direction because this valve is open now so you see the first indoor is calling for cooling so we'll talk about this this refrigerant means here the refrigerant is available for cooling and this valve is closed this valve is open this also open and the refrigerant will enter and this act as a what evaporator next now this call for cooling now you see refrigerant flow in the left direction also so the the, refri the hot refrigerant here this valve will open for this unit because this uh, suppose in this room they call for heating so this valve will open and this is going to be this is going to be closed and this is will open so the mm -hmm. hot refrigerant will enter and this will become what condenser right and the hot refrigerant one minute condenser right? it will reject the yes it will lose the heat ah uh, condenser only uh, you see the the refrigerant it will not pass through this electro expansion valve it is bypass line it will enter this is open now the refrigerant at this point is a what liquid line it means after condensation na? yes it's uh -huh. liquid line uh, so you see it can go back to the unit or else we can utilize for this room three which call for cooling but this can be achieved as i said now with the complete control system with the opening and closing the valve with the complete microprocessor but you see at this point the refrigerant in the liquid state means after condensation so if this room three call for cooling this refrigerant is available in this so it can flow in this direction as well as we have option to flow in this because this is demand for the cooling now. so the refrigerant the, in the liquid form it will pass through this electronic expansion valve you know the process 
Thank so you. this is about the heat recovery. Now you see this advanced version of VRF and we used to call this as a three pipe system. Cooling plus heating, cool, only cooling or only heating or cooling plus heating can be used uh, as per the requirement. Now if you talk about the advantages overall for the VRF system, we have these advantages. You see efficiency point of view, the efficiency is good compared with the other DX system. What we learned till now comes under DX only. And we have a separate chill water system but before talking about the chill water and uh, before talking about chill water i'll give you the points related to the difference between a dx and chill water but remember what we discussed in law right from window all the systems comes under dx nothing but direct expansion so compared with the other direct expansion system the vrf efficiency is higher next we have a design flexibility suitable for various application uh, and that is very good option for the interior requirement because we can go for the different types of indoor which suits the interior requirement or as per the type of the project. Comfort and quiet info, quiet. Again, that depends on the type of indoor. Hmm. Energy saving, what we discuss, and this can be connected with the BMS system in the building. Hmm. So complete, we can do the automation uh, with this. BMS is a building management system. Mostly for big projects, you'll find the BMS system, which will control the different system. And space efficiency or uh, especially for the outdoor unit compared with the suppose if you use a split system so you need to um, provide uh, space for all the outdoors but here since we have one outdoor multiple indoors so we have a very good option for space saving especially in the commercial areas for the for the outdoor point of view but we have some disadvantage also the cost thing is high because this comes under the advanced system even if you talk about only cooling compared with the uh, normal split this is the advanced type so the initial cost is going to be high you may you can compare this uh, at least four to five times expense you compare with the split system in general Back to the split. Uh, no no this compare with the split in general environment and installation point of view also you should be very careful because uh, you see this is a complete network of pipe one outdoor connect to the multiple indoors if yeah. the problem in one unit means that may affect to the entire system but now in market we have some isolating valves for each and every indoor by uh, controlling by closing that isolating valve we can isolate that particular system in case of maintenance or breakdown but still it will affect to the system so installation point of view and that's the reason most of in most of the project the manufacturer will also involve in installation especially at the come at the time of uh, testing qc commissioning etc as for this uh, vrf type compared with the other Next, in Lion. case of leakages, uh, you see the refrigerant uh, uh, loss in case of leakage from one unit, it may affect to the whole system. Okay, so these are some disadvantage compared with the other system. Now, if you talk about capacity, in general, available with 3 TR to 42 TR, nothing but normally in catalogs, you'll find this in kilowatts because we are using with cooling and heating both now in case of heat recovery or uh, heat pumps. In case of only cooling, you will find this term turn, but uh, mostly in actual practice on the catalogs, you'll you'll find this uh, in terms of kilowatt. So if you don't know the conversion, please make a note. One kilowatt equal to 0.28 TR. May I ask in interview? One kilowatt equal to 0.28 TR. And one more in terms of HP also, you can make a note. 1 TR equal to 4.7 HP. TR to 4.7 HP. 1 kilowatt equals to uh, 0 0.28 TR. TR. 1 TR equals to 4.7 HP. No, no. 1 kilowatt equal to 0.28 TR. First point. Hmm. First conversion, second conversion, one TR equal to four point seven HP. Yes. Hmm. Similarly, uh, this also important. You can make a note. One HP equal to point two one TR. Just reverse. One HP equal to point two one TR. Nothing but one divided by four point seven will get point two one. So, 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 sir, that was my question also, that uh, to convert this TR to HP, right? In most of the cases uh, in VRV or VRF system, for outdoor units, they are talking about HP. Yes. Okay. So, 1 HP equal to 0.21 TR. 
Okay, so this was about the VRF.